In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to use discount factors for calculating future values and present values. Say, for example, here we have a specified future amount. We know what it's worth like uh, two years down the road, but we want to bring it back into uh, what it's worth today, its present value or its current value. So we would uh, multiply that future value in this case by this present value factor and that's what we'd, it would be worth today. And of course these factors are based on interest rate in number of periods that they represent. So where do you get these things from, these discount factors? Well, the accounting books and the textbooks have uh, for each one of these factors here, annuities and on present and future values they have an entire sheet for each one of them and they have name across here and then they have the interest rate across the top number of periods down the side and then you pick out your number of periods and where it intersects, intersects with your interest rate then that's your discount factor okay after showing you how to use these discount factors to determine the future values and present values I'm going to uh, tie them into a cash flow diagram for each one of these situations here where you've got annuities and uh, future values and present values. So you get a better understanding of just how to use them and how they relate to our different cash flows. Here I'm going to show you how to determine the present value and future value using these discount factors. Uh, for example here we got a known amount here and we can use a discount factor to determine what its future value is here and vice versa. No, say we know what the future value is here and we can use one of those discount factors to bring it back into the present value. And just a note here uh, yeah, on those formulas down below you'll see here you got an OA that at the, that's a suffix at the end of the like present value and OA that would be ordinary annuity that's what we have at the end of the period. So in this case we have our annuity or equal payments here but at the end of each year and then we have like the AD here that stands for an annuity due like PVAD now those that that's where we get the uh, payments at the beginning of the period so we just shift these four payments over to the beginning of the period so you get the first one here at the beginning of the year now let's go down here and just look at our uh, formulas. This is how we use the, these uh, discount factors here. Say for example we got we want to determine the present value, we know the future value, and then we take it times the present value factor. Now we can uh, manipulate these equations here where we got the present value equals the future value divided by the future value factor. Now that's just taking this future value uh, equation here and using some simple algebra on it to um, you, well, you take the future value factor and divide it over here by the future value and that gives you your present value. Same is true here for the future value equals the present value divided by the present value factor. So <clears throat> for these annuity payments we can scan on down here where we take the payment times the factor and then if we want to determine the payment we can take the present value in this case of an ordinary annuity and then divide it by its factor. Okay, we'll just scan on through here. You can you take note of these. All right. Okay, then the last thing here, if by any chance you need to know the factor, uh, I've got the equation here like present value factor equals the present value divided by the future value. So we can determine all those factors here. All right, that's how you would use these present value factors to determine uh, present values or future values. Okay, here we're going to look at the cash flows where we've got a present value and a future value, and we've got like four years spread between them. And then we determined our discount factors here, either taking them off one of those uh, discount or financial tables or we calculated them here and they were based on a 10 percent interest rate over four years so let's go look at how we determine the present value okay in that case we'd have to know what this future value is, is at the end of the fourth year and then we'd multiply that times the present value factor as shown down here four thousand times the factor amount and we get twenty seven hundred thirty two dollars for the present value now let's look at the situation here where we 
have to determine the future value. Well, that the future value is equal to present value times the future value factor. So you take our present value, which we have to know in this case, times the um, discount rate here, and then we determine what our future value is. So that's just a simple cash flow here, uh, trying to determine present values and future values of just single sum amounts. Okay, here we look at a cash flow, which they call annuities, which you have equal payments either received or paid, either at the end of each year or at the beginning of each year. So the distinction here is that an ordinary annuity, and they're designated here OA in these formulas here, PV or A, that would be ordinary annuity, they're at the end of the period. So you get equal payments here and they receive that, in this case, the end of each year. Now, an annuity due, we'd have to shift these payments ahead here, and we receive them at the beginning of each uh, year or period here. So those would be, again, four equal payments in this case, but we'd receive them at the beginning of the, the starting here at the beginning of the year. Now let's just go through here to see how we'd determine um, the present value of an ordinary annuity. And um, I just remember here, uh, you just substitute these present value factors in here uh, for an annuity due. They'd be the same here, just that remember to use, if you're trying to determine the present value of an uh, annuity due, then use that factor. But it would just go through the ordinary annuity here. So to determine the present value of an ordinary annuity, we have to know the payment. We have to know what these equal payments are here. And then we just take it times uh, ordinary annu present value ordinary annuity factor, and then we can determine what that present value of those four payments are here. Now, if we didn't know what the payments were, theirs were in, were in question. But we do did know what our present value of or, our ordinary annuity was, and we, of course we'd have to know the factor as well. So we just divide those, and we can determine our payments. Now let's go over here and look at a future value of an ordinary annuity. We have to determine what that is. Again, we'd have to know our payment here. We'd put that in and just take it times the future value of ordinary annuity factor. And then... Um, we can determine what that future value of the ordinary annuity is. That's what these four payments would be worth here at the end of the four years. And we'd be able to, we'd know what, we could determine our future value of those payments by using this formula here. Now, if we didn't know the payment, uh, we'd have to know, know the future value of the ordinary annuity and then its factor, and we could determine its payment. So, uh, again, here, if you're, if you're going to use these formulas and you want to do it for an annuity due, just substitute the annuity due factors in here. So this gives you just a summary here of how you can determine the present value of equal payments that we receive in an annuity form or the future value of those payments.